Hi guys, OB Dave here. And I am Merry Ash Christmas. Merry Ash Christmas. Very Merry Ash Christmas. Oh, okay. oh my god. <laughs> but we're not merry. It's too early in the day to be merry, so I still feel I'm just merry. drinking some Pepsi. And I've got my uh, 40 ounce Miyoki. That's ridiculous. I put coffee in here once, it was a bad idea. Yeah, Jesus Christ. It stays hot for ages, but 40 ounce coffee. Oh, mate. How many, been... how many teaspoons of coffee did you put in? Was two it instant? Half. Yeah, instant, two and a half. Two and a half. But I work in a lab, so you can't have food and drink in the lab, so you have to leave it in the coffee room. And the amount of times I've made a coffee and then like two, three hours later gone back and it's stone cold and I hate a cold coffee. I really do. Like, you you like joke because of how quickly I drink my coffee because I need yeah. it hot. But we both love it's iced this. coffee, but we don't like when our coffee goes cold. Yeah, but it's gross. It's not the same, is it? No, and then I saw one of the nurses the other day <clears> put their coffee in the microwave. It was like, ew, wah. <laughs> so I got myself a Miyoki. Anyway. Well, right. There's a, a rock slash metal band called Sabaton. I have, I'll be honest, I've listened to metal since I was like 12 years old. Okay. I've never listened to Sabaton, but they're one of those bands that you see people, you know, with like the battle jackets with all the patches on and stuff oh, like nice. that. Oh, nice, yeah. With like Sabaton patches. Okay. I've never, ever listened to them in my life. I've never heard of them. And I don't know how that's happened. Or may maybe there's songs I've heard in rock clubs and stuff that I just don't know who it is. Maybe. It's certainly not a band I've come across or heard of before. I, I just don't know. I, I always associated, I always thought or assumed that they were like an Iron Maiden style, more of a classic rock band. Yeah. Whereas, like, that's not my thing no. massively, so I've never hunted them out. But we were just looking for, like, rock and metal Christmas songs. Yeah. And this came up, Sabaton Christmas Truce. And just looking at the video, Western Front 1914. And we literally watched Western All Quiet Front on the last Western night. Front last it, night. Unbelievable the film. Like, yeah, it's seriously. emotional, deep, like, just awful. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we all know that what happened was on Christmas Day there was an unofficial truce yeah and they started playing football with each other literally and, and singing songs and like sharing rations and yeah. food and stuff it was and, and then, then the they next just day back, went back to killing each killing other, each other, and other it's just, just awful isn't it it's so bad but that story has been like there was a Sainsbury's Christmas advert years ago that was that story oh interesting um, you know, every year in the UK, I don't they, know like the supermarkets else. have a battle over who yeah. has the best Christmas <clears throat> advert. It's usually John Lewis, isn't it? Because they they spend the most money. on Yeah, but Aldi's up there at the moment. Like it, I mentioned to you, like last year, obviously there was a big battle between Marks and Sparks or Marks and Spencers and Aldi over a particular type of uh, caterpillar cake. Yeah, calling the caterpillar. And even though Aldi won the right to do it, they stopped producing the cake. I think Aldi. Although, Li they were allowed to license it or yeah, something. Yeah, and they didn't because they were like, well, we won, so it's fine. We're not going to make it anymore. But loads of other supermarkets are now making it because they won the battle. Yeah. But the Aldi's Christmas video I'll advert, in the background, you could see the caterpillar being arrested by two carrot nice. police officers, which I thought was, yes, Aldi. Yeah, yes. Ke Kevin the carrot changed the game, didn't he? People like, were fighting every year over the carrot. It was all about emotional Christmas adverts. Oh, and suddenly you've got this stupid carrot comes along. <laughs> but every year people fight over the teddy bear. It's ridiculous. Yeah. But, I mean, either way, I'm excited. I've not heard this. No. Uh, like I say, I've never listened to Sabaton. I don't know what they're like. They could be heavier than I think. They could be more... I, st I assume that they'd be kind of like Iron Maiden-y. Okay. That's why I've not really yeah. bothered. I mean, I, I would enjoy that because I quite like Iron Maiden. So. I like some Iron Maiden, but I'm not, I don't class myself as a fan. I've seen them live and they were amazing, but I've, I've never really purchased an album I wouldn't put an album on I got given an album but I, I wasn't a super fan but I did enjoy their music I'm very interested to see this it's like 15.6 million views <laughs> in a couple of years so. wow okay well yeah and obviously with the World War One theme as well it's potentially going to be quite poignant yes so let's check it out this is Sabaton Christmas Truce yeah man Have a decent budget. I know. Grenade! <gasps> Grenade! Ah! I still got feels from last night. Come on, man. Wake up. Can you hear me? 
Do you hear me? Hamas! Hamas! Come on! Pretty epic so far. Yeah. Hung on the tree. Do you know it's the food hung on the tree, like an apple and a half piece of bread? Oh yeah. Well, these little like signal swords. Obviously, the, the how difficult it was during that time, and mm. what they were actually getting on Christmas Day. Sorry to pause again. It's like two very right ill-timed yeah. pauses. I was going to say that picture you just looked at looked exactly like the picture from All Quiet in the Western Front. I was going to say... Out of the, the guys... Do you remember? Okay, when he, the, after the he stabbed the, um, yeah. the French guy in the in the trench... Well, in the, the blowout, obviously, because it was a Yeah, a but then this, this was a year before <clears throat> the All Quiet in the Western But it's the same it as, like... like the same picture. This, the guy who had the long hair, his face, in that moment, in the light, when I didn't see his long hair, he looked like Cat, the actual... Yeah. You know, the... Uh, the um, Corporal. That was two terrible pauses. Yeah, though, sorry about this. It's just it's because just uh, Quiet on the Western Front is so... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Just cut me off, it's alright. I was just gonna say this. Boy, remember the silence on a cold winter day. After many months on the battlefield. And we were used to the violence Then all the candles went silent And the snow fell Voices sang to me from no man's land Trenches, we sing a holy night Our guns play to rest on books, no 
be it's safe to have a pause at this music. point. It's such music. Oh, my God. It's I'm really loving this so much and all the little details like even the uniforms are incredible like obviously the the circles on the German hats mm. for the different ranks then obviously the Scottish with their bagpipes and their kilts yeah and the French with the blue coats I I, I mean, we talked about this a little bit last night and I'll comment on the song first the song yeah. is absolutely epic yeah, it great. is kind of the style of rock and metal that I thought it'd be yeah um Nightwishy, which actually. I kind of—I mean, people like this probably pioneered the way for yeah. bands like Nightwish. I kind of prefer female vocals sometimes on this sort of epic, uplifting I, I, thing. I but this. I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. But what we were talking about last night is in the First World War, this was more attainable because it wasn't an ideology fighting an ideology. Yeah. So it wasn't. It it was just soldiers fighting soldiers where they're just all the same, just fighting for the country. Yeah, just trying to protect their homeland. Whereas like World War II was more of an ideology and it was like the the methods that were used were a lot worse. And it's like, you're not just going to come together on Christmas Day in World War Two. No. You know I, what I mean? Like I, they, I know what you're saying, but I struggle with that. They probably empathised with each other a lot more in World War One because yeah. they're going through the same shit and they're just normal guys. For, have, for this moment on Christmas Day, I agree with you, but... What with what you're saying, the first thing that flashed into my head was that scene from last night where the guys walk out, with the French walk out with those um, flamethrowers. Flame that, yeah, oh, that's awful. But that, I mean, that's just the brutality of that's war. just doing that's their reality, jobs, though. Yeah. Whereas, like, you're fighting fascism in the Second World War, and you're fighting the, the people. Yeah, I suppose there was a lot more prisoner awful. brutality, wasn't there? Whereas, yeah, like yeah, you're saying, like the, the Geneva Convention wasn't really like human rights and stuff weren't respected anywhere near as much and the rules yeah. of war weren't although in the first world war they did have mustard gas and stuff which I they did which was horrific which actually brought about the was it is it the geneva human rights convention yeah that's yeah the geneva human rights convention yeah that, that's part of it to I talk think. about bio warfare but it's like you're talking about like how there was more civilian brutality in the second world war than there was in the first world yeah. war. we've probably got our history wrong but the little no, bits I, that we know this was a lot more fought on the trenches from yeah. two armies together whereas like the the germans when they advanced into russia in the second world war just Massacre. obliterated everyone and then the russians did it back when they came in well and it was like that's what i mean it the First World War seems a lot more like loads of normal guys <clears throat> that's just some rich toffs somewhere decided that they're going to fight each other and send millions of young men to their deaths. Well, that's it. And it well, I mean, you, you, see, you give the example of like Russia. It's just like in, uh, it was fascinating to hear the history in, in England where peat fields, which is obviously you can't grow on uh, yeah. or, f you know, build on either in, in England, were like set up as like fake cities. So they got take, bombed. Yeah, yeah. To, and they had like um, blackouts and things. I was seeing, you know, you know, curfews to ensure that people were kept safe because they were bombing mm. the hell out of Britain, yeah. just civilians being assaulted. <clears throat> well, this is fresh because we watched literally all quiet and the rest of them from last yeah, night. Yeah, we've been ages we? discussing. We're awful like that. Yeah, but anyway, back to the song. Really enjoying it. Amazing. Absolutely epic. I'm loving it. Love the song. Can we have it on Christmas Day as well? <laughs> It's a, this, you know what? This is a proper Christmas tune. Yeah. I'd have this on a Christmas playlist. I, I think your bro would appreciate this too. Yeah.
it just going to be credits? I think it is, yeah. I, th- I feel like I was squeezing your hand quite tight. <laughs> you got, <laughs> gee, you got dead, like, emotional and aggressive there. <laughs> it's just such a waste of life. It, it really like, is. The First World War especially, it's just... It's just rich people sending young people <laughs> off to die over their own pride. And I know there was more to it. I know there's, there's politics there were, yeah. behind it, but it could have been ended sooner. It didn't need to happen. Didn't and need it, to be and dragged it, out. And it, it set out the framework for World War Two to happen. It literally. It, we talk, Again, we talked about that last night. If it wasn't for, you know, the... It's complicated, isn't it? But the it sanctions is. that were put on Germany that essentially crippled them. Crippled them, them and their for, economy as well. Like Which it, just made it ripe for someone to rise up and say, no, we are Germans. But I, I, I said this when like a lot of the um, countries like England and America stopped giving uh, aid to Zimbabwe because of what Robert Mugabe was doing. And he, he actually, they gave way to that same situation. They they we caused a lot of problems back home because we relied so much on that aid and it was just yeah. like by taking that away <clears throat> yeah you're trying to make a statement and you're trying to force the guy out but you're making it worse because the civilians are now like well what the hell yeah and it's a, it's a similar like what you're saying like what they did with Germany and they put them in such an awful position it, it gave space for the rise of like Hitler who altered their economy brought back hope into the homeland and it was like yeah this is, you know, the way to go. This is the guy who's going to save us. Well, they had hyperinflation, didn't they? Where people are starving to death, they can't afford to buy bread. And it's what happened in your country as well. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's like, it's just, it's shocking. But anyway, back to the music, because yeah. we could rant about this all that, day. It just, that was it, an unbelievable I song. do get, I get a little wound up over it. Especially like, I do. you saw it watching that movie last night and it's like, that fucking guy sending everyone to their death at the end don't it's exactly how I said that and I said this is why on one side I've I've always had a a deep respect for the British soldiers because the officers were expected to be the officers were expected to be the first over the wall to lead their men I think but it wasn't always that case they were probably the lower ranked officers though because there was about I bet there was a lot of them sat there just drinking chewing up the tomatoes while the little hobbit sings to them while everyone runs into battle and dies yeah anyway we said we were going to talk about the song yes I just googled Sabaton because like I say I've never I've seen so many back patches I've made assumptions about them and I was probably right in assuming what they sounded like it said founded 1999 wow and uh, Swedish Oh, nice. Which you kind of hear the, the accents accent. when they were singing, and yeah. then you see all the names coming up on the end credits. And yeah. So, yeah. Ivana and stuff. It yeah. was great, though. That was absolutely epic. I, I loved that music. Like, it was absolutely epic. The guys, like, singing voices, the harmonization, the yeah. lyrics. It was so. The production of that as well. Like, you're saying they definitely put some money into that. That was so good. We're at a strange time in history, I think, where it's not cool in younger generations to support the troops and it's like people just want to go all war's bad you go away you know trying to trying to disregard soldiers as just being on a power trip and wanting to go and kill people and stuff and it's like when it came up with lest we forget at the end it's like such a, a respect and it's it's kind of like I say uncool in the younger generations to to think to remember like, that. like this and it's disrespectful sacrifice. to the people that actually did sacrifice everything for for us but we talked about this last night and it I never ever forget but to be reminded like that it always like breaks my heart to think about the men and women that sacrifice their lives in the most yeah. horrific of ways to ensure our future now and I, I just I have the deepest respect for the military Absolutely, but it's not yeah. just war with the military they progress you know scientific research medical research they also are involved in, you know, care and support around the world. Yeah. So helping with the Ebola breakout. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's just been a couple of very unpopular wars in the past couple of decades that exactly. I think have turned younger public. I keep emphasising younger because I think most people our age and above Understand. still have that respect. And, yeah. you know, you learn a lot about the First and Second World War in school, especially in this country. Well, we still had grandparents that were involved in it. Yeah. Like my, my grandfather was a Lancaster bomber pilot for the, in the Second World War for the RAF. Low life expectancy as a pilot yeah. in the Second well, World War. Well, he was War, held in the prisoner of war camps for two years in Germany, so yeah. yeah. That that was that was really epic. I really enjoyed that. And yeah. that, that's completely come from us just Googling metal Christmas songs. Yeah. Or searching on YouTube, sorry. And of course, it, like I said, just watch the... Um, All Quiet on the, on the Western Reason. Front, yeah. which, you know, Jesus. <laughs> Recommend there's, Netflix. There's series, some guys. rants about that, though, on the last night. There was wine involved as well, but still. So anyway, good. we won't get back into that. No, we Cheers. have ranted on for oh. 
long enough, guys. We know yeah. that it's Christmas and we've brought a little bit of a dark side to it, but we should be remembering moments I think that's like just this. Being, it's just respectful. At the end of Absolutely. It's not, you know, still Christmas. Everyone have a great day. And Drink it is a wine. great, great bit of music. And Epic I'm song, up for respon- um, reacting to more of this band. Yeah. Sabaton? The, Sabaton. Sabaton. There's, there's lots of the rock and metal world that I never went down on those tangents. Oh and a lot of it is the more epic sort of rock songs, the yeah. rock bands like that. I'd love stuff like that. Yeah. You can see that in a huge stadium with a lot of people just chanting along to it and stuff, and yes. it'd be like pure power. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Nice. Right. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Make guys. sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>